there and welcome back to another episode of Bethy Marie. Today we're making tomato pie. And I have a few helpers with me as you can see because this is just real life in our house. So the first thing that we need to do to make tomato pie. That's me, William, and this is Susanna. That's right. The first thing we need to do to make tomato pie is roll out the dough. So. I have a pie crust here that is a homemade one, but you can use store-bought if you like. You can buy them in the freezer section or the refrigerated section. Let's roll out the pie crust. All right, so you need a lightly floured surface. Let's put some flour down. And I always like to roll my rolling pin in it. I just like to roll my rolling pin in it a little bit. Just get that spread around. Not too much flour. And you ready to roll? So it's good to start with a cold um, pie crust just because you don't want all the better butter that's in it to melt. William, why don't you let me get started and then I'll let you roll in a second, okay? It's really stiff because it's cold, but that's a good thing. We want it to be stiff. Well, we want it to be cold, mostly. It's going to turn into hot. Well, we're going to pre-bake this pie crust while we're getting the rest of our ingredients As you ready. Can see, so basically what we're doing is we're rolling up the dough, then we'll add some other ingredients. You got it. What, what ingredients are we going to put in tomato pie? Um, uh... What's the most important ingredient in tomato pie? Um, basil. That's very important. And, uh... Anything else? Rice. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes. We need tomatoes and in tomato pie. And garlic. And garlic. Wow, you remember. And sauce. Uh, no. And cheese. And cheese, you got it. All right, well, we'll show them in a minute. So right now you can see I've rolled out my pie crust. Whoa. And let's transfer it now into our pie plate. Okay, hands off. Here's the plate. This is how I like to do it. Just gently lift it with my rolling pin and let her back down. And then I very gently, don't press it down like that. We gently ease the sides in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't do it yet. It's not in all the way. Push it down a little bit like that, just a minute. All right, and then you kind of just rip off the excess. You can cut it with a knife if you like. I usually just rip it because I fold, I like to fold the crust under a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, I'm just gonna tuck the edges under. And this is how it, this is how it wasn't looking. This is how it, this is how it was looking before. Mine. No. Mine. She can play with a piece. Mine's so now that I've folded all of the edges under, I'm going to just crimp my crust and go right around the edge. I use three fingers to do this and it moves pretty quickly. Oh, kind of looks like a little person made out of pie dough. The pie crust is going to go in the oven and bake at 375 and I'll take it out in about 10 minutes when I'm done mixing up the filling. Alrighty, well, let's get our filling mixed up. The first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise to our bowl. Can and I, I have not tried this with Miracle Whip. I'm sure it would work, it might taste a little different, but we're using mayonnaise. Okay, go ahead and We'll use that there. You can use the spoon to scoop it out. Eee. All right, so after we do our mayonnaise, then we are going to put in 
one cup of shredded mozzarella. Now I have a cup and a half in here because we're going to use half a cup for something else. So let's start with one cup. Okay, so that's about one cup of shredded mozzarella. And then we're going to put in a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. All right, William, you can dump this cheese in here. Hold on, let me just fill the cup up. All right, quarter cup of Parmesan. And we are going to go ahead and put in three tablespoons of dried basil. So here we go. Ready? One, two, and three tablespoons of dried basil. Now we're going to add in some garlic. I'm going to be putting in two cloves worth. Actually, let's just add a little extra. I like it garlicky. It's really good. But you can cut back. It's up to you. Whatever you prefer. And then we'll put in about a teaspoon of salt. And you, again, can adjust this to taste. And William's going to crack some pepper in there. We usually do about a half a teaspoon or so of pepper. All right, good job. So now we'll stir all of this up. You can smell the garlic, can't you? Yeah. It smells so good. And it's so peppery. It's actually basil that looks, I think you're seeing, you think it's pepper, but it's basil. More. All right, so we'll set that aside for a moment. And we're going to go ahead and get our pie crust out of the oven. It's going to be really hot, so I don't want you to touch it, okay? So this is our very hot pie crust that I just took out of the oven. The first thing that we're going to do is sprinkle half of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese on top of the hot crust. So don't touch the crust, but just sort of sprinkle it over the top. Kind of spread that around. And that's going to form a nice melted cheese base layer in the pie. The next thing that you're going to want to do is get your tomatoes and slice them up. We have them already sliced here. This is five Roma tomatoes. I like to use the Roma because they're a little less juicy and that helps the pie not, not to be so wet. So we're gonna put our, our tomatoes in and let me just show you, William, real quick what I'm gonna do. We just start right here and just overlap them and go in a circle all the way around the pie. Okay, now I'm going to set it here to help you don't touch the pie plate because it's hot. And just sort of gently fill them in wherever, wherever you can get them. I may have cut a few too many tomatoes, but that's okay. You don't have to use them all. Don't overload your pie. Just make sure you have it sufficiently layered in there. All right? And the next step is to spread the mixture over the top of your tomatoes. I'm just going to drop it on gently here so as not to disturb the tomatoes too much. I'm gently going to spread this out here with my spatula until all of the tomatoes are covered. All right, that's about right there. Oops. And then we're going to go ahead and bake this in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it's bubbling and the top is a nice golden brown. All righty, well, we have our fresh out of the oven tomato pie here. You can see it formed a nice brown crust on the top, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a slice so you can take a closer look. Yeah. 
Well, here you have it, delicious tomato pie. You can serve this up for a lunch, brunch, dinner, anytime you like. It's savory and delicious. The recipe will be in the description below the video. Please make sure you subscribe and follow my channel and you'll see lots more recipes coming soon. Thanks for watching. Dun, dun, dun.